what is a switch or what is a network switch a switch is a device which is used to connect different devices different networking devices or end devices together to form a local area network there are few important points about network switches first of all all the network switches they work on layer 2 of osi model we have already discussed what is osi model so switches they connect different devices together on layer 2 to form a local area network a lan network secondly switches usually have many ports as compared to routers because they are connecting different devices together let's say these are all the devices device 1 2 3 they are security cameras they are mobile phones computers all devices which support cabling so it will connect different devices together so we need to have so many ports that's why switches usually have many ports another important point about switches is that they are usually low cost because they don't have to do any high level job they are just forwarding traffic based on layer 2 addresses based on mac addresses so they don't have to do any high level job in contrast to routers which have to do the whole header inspection and ip addressing as well another important point about switches is that they usually create a single network of devices means it is not possible that some of the devices they belong to one network on a switch and some other devices they can form a separate network separate subnet in simple words it's not possible for these devices to have this kind of subnet and some devices they have this kind of 192.168 type of subnet so if one device belongs to one subnet the other devices should belong so that they can communicate with each other otherwise in this form they will not be able to communicate with each other unless you have vlans which is a separate topic another important point about switches is that switches provide high data rate because they their forwarding is based on asic processors right based on hardware they are not working on software layer so they have high data rates with low cost data frame forwarding decisions are made usually layer 2 frames and mac addresses like we discussed another important point is that most of the switches don't need to be configured before we use so you can simply go to the market choose a cisco switch uh, d-link switch any type of switch any company switch bring them home plug in the devices and it will start working the basic configuration just like spanning tree protocol just like uh, cdp these kind of protocols would already be enabled you don't need to enable them while if you buy a router you have to configure basic things like ip addresses and all of that operations like best path selection in switches are carried out by asic which is a special type of hardware another important point to note here is that if a frame if a layer 2 frame is received by a switch with unknown destination mac address for example if there is a laptop or any end device connected here and it sends a frame with unknown destination so what the switch is going to do switch will broadcast this to each and every port for example the destination it says broadcast maybe 255 255 this kind of address or maybe fff mac address so what the switch is going to do switch will ask each and every port each and every device connected on these ports that guys who has this destination address we will discuss this later in detail so this is biggest disadvantage of switches but this is how it has been designed that's why we have two types of devices switches and routers switches they allow broadcasts routers they don't allow so this is a quick summary of what is a switch i guess you guys have got a good idea now what is a switch